Here's a Saab Turo that I did an upgrade and a rebuild for. This one's for the V6 model. There, I did a couple more videos that it's kind of similar to this. If you didn't see them, there's one on the Saab Turbo that is for just the four cylinder, but this one is for the V6. However, the they use the same or a similar turbo. They use a TDO4 turbo, so the same upgrade options are available for each one. The difference is one goes on a four cylinder and the other one a six cylinder. And this model has the TDO4 HL turbine already. The four cylinder one only has a TDO4 L turbine, which means it's a smaller one. That one's only 41 millimeter. The turbine in this one is 45.6 millimeter from factory, and that's at the smallest point. It's 45.6 by 52 millimeter. Here's the turbine side. We just did the drop-in nine blade turbine, TDO4 HL. The other one's called a TDO4 L on the four cylinder. So you can see what it looks like here. Now since this one is the V6, uh, I think it's twin scroll. So it's got one port here and one port right here. So it's kind of an interesting looking exhaust housing he's got there. And then for the compressor side, we did a 20G compressor wheel. So that's 52.6 millimeter by 68 millimeter. And then we balanced the whole assembly and that was pretty much all we did with this one. The only concerns I have with doing this build is this bolt hole right here. It cut through it just a little bit. You can see down in there, or maybe not. There's just a little hole right there, so we're going to have to do something to kind of plug that up. I'm thinking probably like a little piece of JB Weld stick on the inside so that it can't go through it. So as far as horsepower capability of a turbo like this, the 19Ts are usually good for about 325 horsepower and like 425 foot-pounds of torque. For like something like this, I'm hoping we can see around 375. I had somebody claim around 400, but uh, that may be like E85 and just completely maxing everything out. But for like a realistic car, daily driver, or something that they don't do all the mods to, I'm thinking you could probably get 350 out of this, maybe 375. So as far as this upgrade goes, it's not as expensive to build just because we only have to do the compressor side upgrade and then the turbine side is a direct fit for the turbine wheel. I have all the turbo parts available for sale. You can find them on our eBay store, but to make it easy, I'll go ahead and link to each of them. So what I used in this build was a 9-blade TDO4HL turbine, which is a direct fit for the V6 model turbo. But for the 4-cylinder, you have to machine the turbine housing, so I have a special plate to do that. For the compressor side, I use a 20G compressor wheel, which I don't quite have for sale avail like available to you guys. I can, but I don't carry very many of them, so I don't really list them online. So you'd have to contact me directly to uh, buy that. For the rebuild kit, I have those available online. Those are an upgraded kit, so they include a two oil port thrust bearing and the upgrade thrust collar and spacer, which are bigger, they're 14 millimeters, so they have more surface area on the thrust bearing for uh, more durability. If you plan to run over 20 pounds, you're gonna need the upgraded rebuild kit. Otherwise, you might get away with not having it. Just keep that in mind. It is necessary for over 20 pounds. Otherwise, the thrust bearing just wears out and the whole turbo is just shot. Just make sure if you do build something like this that you do buy that rebuild kit because it's necessary and I can't emphasize on it enough. If you do want us to do the whole turbo build for this, we can do it. We just You just need to give us enough time to do it because sometimes some of these things do take a lot of time. Especially if you send it to me and every single possible bolt is broke off in the housing and you expect me to drill all those out and stuff like that. It just takes time for me to do it. But if you do want us to do it, you can always contact us at TurboLabAmerica at gmail.com.